Hey boys and girls, welcome back to the Read to Me Miss Tracy Storytime channel where we bring books to life. I'm your Storytime reader, I'm Miss Tracy. Cannot wait to read you our next story all about a big surprise for a little card. The author of this book is Cherise Miracle Harper and the person who drew the pictures was a, did a very good job illustrated by Anna Raff. All right, you ready? And if you haven't liked or subscribed already, please do. Do not hesitate. Yeah, cool beans. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's turn it around a little bit better. The sun's killing me. <laughs> I love it, though. Little Card lived in a building with all of his card friends. Each card had a special job. Let's see. The mailbox says, throw Linda card. A round card, wide card, long card, little card, and giant card. Hmm. I guess these they all have different things that they have to do. Wide card was a postcard, and he couldn't wait to travel. Round card was a price tag for something important. She was sure. Tiny card was a prize ticket for a new shiny toy. Hmm, can you see okay? Yeah, there we go. Giant card was a folder for important office work. Only two cards didn't know what their grown-up jobs would be. Little card and long card were still waiting for their special letters to arrive. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be. Getting new mail was exciting, maybe too exciting. Oops, oof, splat, ee! There were letters everywhere. Look, shouted Little Card, it's my special letter. He read it aloud. Dear LC, congratulations, you are a birthday card. Your training starts tomorrow. Well... Little Card loved birthday card school. He was an excellent student. Wait, 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 now! Wow! Happy birthday, surprise! Wow, look at all the balloons, neato. Little Card loved everything about birthdays. He loved the cheering, the decorating the games, ooh, the cake, and the presents. Birthdays were a special day. You're one year older. Hip, hip, hooray. But most of all, Little Card loved the singing. He always sang the loudest. One day when Little Card came home from school, Long Hard, Long Card was waiting for him. Our letters got mixed up, said Long Card. Look, you're not a birthday card. I am the birthday card. Does this mean I have to go to a different school? asked Little Card. There's no time for that, said Long Card. Today is delivery day. It's time to go. You'll have fun, said Long Card. Your job is interesting and exciting. Then she leaned in and whispered, Just remember, always use your quiet voice. Hmm, Little Card, all aboard. That's for a license. On the ride over to his new job, Little Card thought about Long Card's words. Fun, interesting, exciting? That sounded a lot like a birthday. Suddenly, he knew just what to do. Little Card raced up to the path, opened the big front door, and shouted, 
Oh, but remember what long card said? No shouting whisper. Hmm, let's see how this finds out. Happy birthday! Shh, said a man from behind a thick red book. This is a library. Oops, then happy library! Suddenly, a tall lady with fancy boots appeared. It was Miss Perry, Penny, the librarian. She sighed and shook her head. Come with me. Little Card followed Miss Penny back to her desk. This is Alex, said Miss Penny, and you are her new library card. Hi, whispered Alex. Alex and Light and Little Card liked each other instantly. Happy Library Day! Happy Library Day! Happy Library Day! Cheered Little Card. Boing, 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 boing. The library was filled with things to do. There were games to play. There were snacks to eat. Cookies always taste better after a story, said Alex. Ta-da! There are lots of room for decorating. It's a rainbow of books, said Alex. Let's read them all, said Little Card. Little Card and Alex read every book in the rainbow, even the book, black book about space. Look, I'm standing on Saturn. The library wasn't exactly like a, live, a birthday, but it was close. Do you know what's missing, asked Little Card? A song. Alex shook her head. The library is a place for whispering, not for singing, she said. But Little Card had a song in his heart, and he just had to sing it. He took a deep breath and sang in his quietest whisper. Read a story that's new, pick the right one for you. It fills you with wonder, that's a magic the books do. Miss hmm. Penny smiled and gave Little Card a gold star. When it was time to go, Little Card followed Alex to the checkout desk while Miss Penny stamped the books Little Card recited the book promise Alex had taught him. We promise to read, respect, and return these books, he said. And enjoy them too, said Miss Penny. That was as much fun as a birthday, said Little Card. It's too bad Happy Library Day is only once a year. But it's not, said Alex. Look, Happy Library Day is six days a week. Every week. We can come back tomorrow. Yay, shouted Little Card. That's the best surprise ever. And guess what, whispered Alex. Tomorrow is Miss Penny's birthday. Little Card couldn't believe it. Happy Library Day and Happy Birthday together on the same day? That was perfect for a library card who knew all about birthdays. Let's have a party, said Library Card. I know just who to invite. Oh, look, Long Card. If my library card could talk, he would say, thank you, Vancouver Public Library. You taught me to love books. Good job. Good job. You read that story very well. That was a big surprise by Little Card. Yeah. And it's by Cherise Mar Maracle Harper. Yeah. Cool beans. I like that story. I hope you did too. Well, 
Time to say goodbye for this story time, and I hope that you're going to log on and look at some other stories. Yeah, please be sure to do that and like this story. Even make a suggestion if you want to about a story maybe that you liked to hear, and I'll read it for you and even give you a little shout out for suggesting it. Thanks again, everyone. It's been fun. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug. Ladybug, blow a kiss, Mwah! jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly.